Hi guys, how are you today? I'm very fine. And now uh, this should be the first video of a series called Some Shades of Math. Actually, I already posted the first, the second video. And now uh, we'll make the first video. And this video will be about sum of two unit fractions. Okay, so the first thing is what is a fraction? Yeah, fraction is a number of the form a over b, where a and b are integers. Okay, so actually with b different of zero. Okay, so what's a unit fraction? Unit fraction is a fraction such that a is equal to one. So it's a fraction of the form. 1 over b. Okay, so if uh, if you are we are considering only positive numbers, positive integers, so 1 over b is integer only for b equal to 1. Yeah, for only for b positive. Okay, if b could be negative, b could be minus 1 too. Okay. So, a unit fraction is a positive integer only when the denominator is equal to 1. Okay, but the problem, the problem is the following. For which values of a and b, the number 1 over a plus 1 over b is an integer. Okay, so we want to know for which values of the denominators the sum of two unit fractions is an integer. Okay, there are many ways of solving this kind of problem. I will choose one with uh, use inequality. I think this is very clever idea and it's very easy too. So it could be applied for solving other kind of problems when we have three unit fractions, for example, and so on. So we start with the following. First thing to think about this problem is that this is a symmetric problem. So we can replace A by B and the same the problem will not change. Okay, so this is a symmetric problem. In a symmetric problem, we can add, always say, for example, we can we can suppose we can suppose that a is less than or equal to b. Okay, because because the symmetry the symmetry of the problem. Okay, so first case case number one. If a is equal to 1, so we have 1 over 1 plus 1 over b. Actually, for which values of a, b, positive, positive integers. Okay? So, as I was talking before. So, when a is equal to 1, we have... 1 over 1 plus 1 over b, this being an integer. But this number is integer, so this guy must be integer. And this, we know that if 1 over b is integer, this implies that b is equal to 1. Recall that b is positive, okay? So, when a is equal to 1, b must be equal to 1, and so 1 over 1 plus 1 over 1 is 2, which is integer. Okay, case 2. In case 2, we will consider the case when a is equal to 2. In this case, we have that 1 over 2 plus 1 over b is integer. So, if I multiply this relation by 2, I have that 2 times 1 over, a, 1 over 2 plus 1 over b must be integer. This implies that yeah, because if you multiply two integers, the result is still an integer. So this is 1 plus 2 over b is an integer. 
this implies that since one is integer, this implies that 2 over b is integer and this implies that b divides 2. Okay, so b divides 2. And if b divides 2, b must be equal to 1 or 2. Since a is equal to 2, b cannot be equal to 1. Yeah, because the sum will not be an integer and actually b must be at least a. So this case cannot hold, so b equal to 2 is another solution. So 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2 is equal to 1, which is an integer. Okay, and case 3 is when a is bigger than 2. In this case, b is bigger than or equal to a, so bigger than 2. This implies that 1 over b and 1 over a are less than 1 and a half. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, because because if we have that m is bigger than n, this implies that 1 over m is less than 1 over n, when m and n are different of 0, okay? And n positive, for example. So, 1, of, one over b and 1 over a are less than 1 and a half, so one, uh, 1 over a plus 1 over b is less than 1 and a half plus 1 and a half. And this is equal to 1. But b and a are positive, so the sum of two positive guys is positive. But this should be an integer. So we arrive at an absurdity, because 1 over a plus 1 over b is an integer between 0 and 1. And this cannot hold. Okay? So the case 3 doesn't provide any, any solution. So no solutions in this case. Then all solutions are a b equal to 1 1, a b equal to 2 2. These are the only solutions and we can find all solutions of this problem. Okay guys, so I hope you like the video. If you like you can share with your friends, you can subscribe to the channel and also you can leave your comments for me and sorry for the English again and see you later, bye bye.